I know what you're thinking, ladies. That's what this episode of Scam School is all about. This magic-tacular episode of Scam School is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to the only show more profitable than a love child between James Cameron and Steve Jobs. If that love child was dipped in gold and then jewel encrusted. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and I have a question for you. What is even better than having the ability to read someone's face and know their innermost thoughts? Answer, looking like you can know their innermost thoughts without having any actual talent at all. And that is exactly what we are about to do. So let me buy you a beer and take you on a quest for knowledge. All right, Tim, Shireen, how do you guys feel about card tricks? Love them. Really? Love them. You are a liar. Nobody loves card tricks. <laughs> I Even I don't like card tricks because I think cards aren't interesting. They're just pieces of paper with crap written on them. But what I do think is interesting is people, specifically the uh, body reading, the little cues, the subtle ways that we telegraph what we're really thinking, right? The nice thing about a deck of cards is that all of these cards are completely neutral. They don't have any, I suppose there's a few cards that you have an association with, like the Queen of Hearts or the Ace of Spades or whatever, but for the most part, you don't have any particular feelings about one card or another, right? Shereen, what I want you to do, extend one finger, right? Hold it out just like so. There you go, and I just want you to reach down and touch one card, back of any one card you want. Stop whenever you want. Now, are you certain that's the one you want? Yeah. Are you absolutely, you could change your mind. This is your only chance to change your mind. Here's the most important thing. Before you take this card, make sure I don't see it. Make sure Tim doesn't see it. In fact, don't even let the camera see it. Nobody needs to see this card, but this is your card. Private card. You got it? All right, don't let me see it. Go ahead and take a look at it. Tim, look, be a gentleman. <laughs> Would you look away? I'm trying to, trying to I'm sneak trying to get a peek at her card. <laughs> I got it. All right, now here's the other thing. To prove that this isn't even a card trick, just stick it anywhere you want in the middle of the deck. Still not looking and then put the deck of cards inside the package. Can I, I think, shuffle it or just put it straight? I mean, just put it in, the, it does, I'm not looking. The point is, in fact, you can sit on it. You can hide it under your, your backside. But the important thing is I want to make sure that you're confident. Nobody has seen that card but you. Is that, is that good? Yes. Awesome. Yes. All right, now here's the thing. Remember what I said, it's not about the cards, it's about you. So I want to try and experiment in body reading. All right, also kind of a lie detection thing. So I want you to sit up nice and straight, take a deep breath in, let it out. I want you to look right in our eyes. We're both gonna try to read your expressions, okay? You can choose to lie or tell the truth for any of the questions I'm about to ask you. And you can mix it up. You can lie, lie, then truth, truth, whatever you want, okay? But I'm gonna start. First of all, please remember the suit of your card and the value. Do you remember both? Okay, so I want you to start by thinking if your card is a red card or a black card. And I want you to look me in the eye and answer. You can lie or tell the truth. What color is your card? Red. That was fast. Let me ask. I... Let me ask you again. Let me ask you again. What color was your card? Red. What color was your card? Red. All right. Now all three times you were very fast, which tells me you probably didn't have to think about it a lot. So I'm going to say it probably was a red card. Was it actually a red card? Yeah. This is the part we have to tell the truth, by the way. Oh, <laughs> so you didn't tell me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was it really a red yeah. card? Okay, good. That's one. That's one. All right. All right. And what you thought she was lying. I thought she was lying. So, all right, what? Zero for you, one for me. Yep. Okay, all right, all right. Now, I want you to think if it's a, uh, we know it's a red card, so it's either a diamond or a heart. All right, look me in the eye and tell me. Heart. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. All right, I'll ask you again. Now that you need quick answers. What, what suit was your card? Heart. What suit was your card? Heart. So, you did the same thing. You answered the same thing, which means you're either lying three times or you're telling the truth three times. Could but be I, either. But I'm gonna say, since you told the truth the first time, you probably wanna do a switcheroo and now you're lying. I'm gonna say it's not a heart. I'm gonna say it's a diamond. Am I right? Yes. All right. <laughs> That's good. Okay, now I want you to think of, of the value of the card, whether it's a suit, whether it's a, like a letter card or a number card. We'll just make that distinction. Look at me in the eye. Is it a number card or a letter card? I see. That's good. You're squirming, you're yeah. twisting. Um, number. What do you think? Lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try again. Uh, answer, uh, number card or letter card? Number card. One more time, number card or letter card? Number card. 
Did you notice all she three times? Looking at me. She, she looked away every time yes. she said number, yes. and that is a lie cue. So I'm going to yes. say you were lying when you said number. It was a letter card, wasn't it? Yes. Yes! All right, all right. Now, okay, here's the, here's the best part, okay? We know that it's a diamond. We know that it's some kind of letter card. Don't react. Look me in the eye. Try not to react. Okay, ready? Jack, queen, king, ace. Jack, queen, king, ace. Jack, queen, king, ace. Ace. What are you feeling? Ace. You feel ace? Jack, queen. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's the queen of diamonds, am I right? Uh, yes. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, now here's the important question. No, oh, of course you can! You did repeatedly! What if I told you everything I just did was a total lie and everything was totally bogus and it required no skill whatsoever and I could teach you how to do it in about three minutes? I would believe you because I'm really good at BS, the card game. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a yes? You want to learn how this is done? Well, let's thank our sponsors. Yeah. Penicillin, indoor plumbing, fiber optics. What do they have in common? These inventions pale in comparison to Netflix, mankind's greatest achievement. With 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service. You get TV episodes and movies over the internet. For an itty bitty monthly price, you can stream all of them to your Nintendo Wii, your Xbox 360, your PS3, your iPad, your iPhone, your desktop computer, it doesn't matter. By the way, did you know that Alfred Nobel invented dynamite? which also pales in comparison to Netflix. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you can possibly eat, and you can get a free trial membership right now by going to netflix.com slash scam school. You guys already know how great Netflix is. You know how much we love it. Now it's important that you go to that website to let them know that it's my free beer given tutorials that are keeping them in business. So here's the thing, the whole lie detector angle in magic is very common thread. You see it done by geniuses like Darren Brown. I think we've even taught a method to do it here on the show before. But the method I use tonight is diabolically clever. Anybody can do it anytime, anywhere. And it's perfectly genius. My favorite part of this whole thing. So first of all, number one, you full on believed that I was reading your facial expressions that whole time that I was doing that. Yeah, see, she's embarrassed to say so, right? But see, that's the great part, is because by dressing it as if I'm doing body reading, that alone would be amazing if I actually had that talent. But I ain't got no talent, that's why I'm a magician. So instead, what I do is I cheat. And before the trick even began, I knew, before you even knew, what card you were gonna pick, which card it was. And here's the way why. Do me a favor, Tim. Yep. I want you to come on over. I want you to look right over my shoulder. Now, here's the thing is I don't say just take a card. I'm very deliberate. I say I need you to hold up one finger just like so. So you hold up one finger and I say I'm going to start running through the cards. You reach down and touch any one card. Notice I don't say pull out a card. I say reach down and touch one card. And as I do so, I spread the cards out. And Tim, I want you to lean your face in. Or is that the one you want right there? I want you to lean your face as close to my point of view as you could possibly get. What do you see? <laughs> right? So here's the thing. I didn't even... <laughs> Did you just see it? Yeah, no, no. Okay, I didn't right. even know, like... Yeah, I didn't even think about that. All right, so here's the thing. Shireen, what you can't see and nobody can see is that I happen to have my cell phone placed at just the exact right angle so that as I spread the cards in front of you, I'm able to see the reflection. That's not fair. All of it. <laughs> All of it. This is an old gambler's trick they call using a shiner. I know, it's totally a big fat lie, right? So this is the thing, is you want to know before the trick even begins what the card is. So everything else can be window dressing. This is a great way to hit on the ladies or to be a total douchebag and rip old people off of their money. But the point is, is everything is window dressing to make them believe that you have an insight into their personality. But the core, the only thing that matters is figuring out what their card is in advance. Now back in the old days, there was a bunch of different ways to get a shiner. Some people would use a Zippo lighter, some people might have have a mirror underneath one of their hands. Some people would use a button, a silver button on a, on a card table. And in fact, there's a great story of one guy who sits down in a riverboat casino and says, I don't cut the no cheaters. And he takes out a big Bowie knife and slams it on the table. And the big Bowie knife is polished steel <laughs> that makes the perfect shiner surface for you to use. So the whole thing, now the thing with using a shiner, especially if you're gonna use a cell phone, now the cell phone is perfect because people perceive this as just a black face on there. You don't 
think of it as something that's highly reflective, and it's not all that reflective. But when you have enough light, it works out great, especially if you have a candle that you can put nearby. Because the nice thing about the candle is that it illuminates the cards from underneath. Everything else is BS. You can pretend to read their body, you can pretend to read their mind, you can pretend to suck the <laughs> thoughts out of their brain. It doesn't matter. This thing is pure freaking gold and you can do it anytime, anywhere. And the best part about the fact that it uses a cell phone is nobody suspects it because everybody has cell phones on them all the time. Any questions before we go forward? No. None at all. Which one of you is going to do this trick on me? She is. <laughs> <laughs> Zero hesitation and you've been volunteered. I want you to pick a card. What? Take okay. Your finger. Okay. When you see one that you want, just put your finger on it. This one right here. This one right here. All right, pull it out. Can I show Tim? Yeah, you should show me. Can I show sure. the camera? Yes. All right. All right, I'll put it back in the deck. Anywhere I want? Anywhere. All right. What, are you going to do some sleight of hand and find it? Shuffle it, do what you want. No, you know what? I'm just going to put I'm gonna put it in the box because you didn't see it and there's no way you can know what the card is. <laughs> I want you to think really hard on if you're going to choose red or black right now. I just oh. want to gauge what sure. color you're feeling right, right now. I'm thinking of one. Red or black. I'm thinking of red. What do you think of? I'm thinking of black, actually. Yeah. Say it again. Which, what are you feeling? I'm thinking of red. Black. Well, if you're thinking of different things, I'm going to go with him. All right. Okay. He's a little bit more trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> so you say he has a more honest face. So just because he has an honest face, you're picking black. Well, you're right. It was a black card. Question two. Okay. Tonight, do you plan on drinking less than 10 beers or more than 10 beers? It's only 8 o'clock, and there's a lot of time to have more than 10 beers, and that's what I'm going to have. Must. Look, I'm still sticking with Tim. What does that mean? Woo. <laughs> okay, well, well <laughs> this, is, this is getting bizarre. <laughs> Chicks are in the clubs. <laughs> Spades. All right, last thing. No switching your answers. Clubs. Spades. You. Clubs. That's right. It is. It was a club. <laughs> Number of magic tricks you've done tonight. Six or seven? Uh, more. Uh, seven. Seven. How many do you think you've done? Six. I'm going to say you're sincere about your magic and go with your first number of seven. There's seven of four. Of you have a seven of clubs. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have <it> for Cherie! <laughs> well done! Now this is a way powerful technique that you can use for any number of tricks. In this case, we use the old school lie detector scam, but come up with your own methods to reveal that information and you're gonna look like a total badass. In fact, I wanna hear about your success stories and failure stories, so hit us up at the forums at scamschool.tv where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow me personally at twitter.com slash wood or follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool. And make sure to check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash schwood. Now, of course, you can suggest your favorite bar scams at brian at revision3.com. And next week, join me on a magical quest when I finally get my vengeance on a certain white whale. I'll get you, Moby Dick! <laughs>